I'm back with Jeff again, and we are headed for Summersville because we need to attach a transmitter to an Assaultron body for our friends at the Wayward. We are kicking off over here roughly between Slocum's Joe and the Wayward, and our goal is to sort of meander this way down to Summersville and where that guy is. Presumably that guy is also doing this quest. And yeah, we're gonna you know, see if we can see through here. It looks like we're gonna end up passing through or near Sutton. Because I believe there's a sign up here that says, yep, this is gonna be Sutton. Sutton is just uh, another little town in this part of the uh, forest. And it also is where the Overseer is hanging out. It's where she set up camp, because that's where her house, and or where her family's house was. We're gonna leave that alone for right now, in part because I've, I've already done the Personal Matters quest in uh, the other series of Jeff here. Yeah, that, that's her house up there on the hill. She uh, built a pretty nice house for herself. Uh, we might as well get the map marker for Sutton and for the train station, though, because those are useful to have. Every train station is a wonderful place to sell stuff and resupply. And, But in general, we want to be heading towards Summersville. We, it, Jeff is clueless enough that he's already been distracted by three shiny objects and doesn't really want to uh, change course to go hang out with the Overseer right now. Ah, uh, there's a rat. It's a oh, level 8 rad rat. Okay. You want some of this? I bet you want some of this. Ha! You did not, in fact, want some of that. Now the time-honored tradition of uh, running through an area, picking up all the junk on the ground, and scrapping it somewhere so that it can be used later. Oh, hey, that's locked. And it's an easy lock. It just had wrenches in it, that's fine. You may hear my son making noise because he's having a bit of a fussy evening, but he's hanging out and he's along for this journey with us. Uh, there's some Scorched over there in the ruins of Sutton. We don't really want to mess with them because they are a distraction. We don't want to mess around with Sutton. We want to uh, head on down and uh, get to Summersville. All right, little buddy, you're snoring up quite a storm right there. Just uh, chill out. I forget, can I actually get up this hill? Or do I need to, I think I need to walk up the stairs over here. Mm -hmm. Did I get a perk for, no. I thought I got the agility perk for it costing less to sprint, but instead I just have the one that gives me extra damage resistance when I sprint, which, helpful, but not really what we're looking for. Alright, we... Yeah, we're pretty much just gonna cut over the hill here and see what we can get. Maybe we'll get to talk to the Overseer after we go fetch the Assaultron body for Polly. Maybe not. The important thing is, I get to scrap all that crap now. Now, one thing I have noticed is that uh, when I upload these to YouTube, I immediately get copyright claims if I uh, happen to catch any of the in-game radio when it's playing a song. Because people are terrible. Yeah. Nuclear protection on a budget. Yeah, that didn't work out. Because, you know, people are terrible and her copyright trolls and all that good stuff. It's it's wonderful. Uh, we want... Ooh, there's a wanted person. If they've got the wanted and they're in red, that means that they have done something to in initiate PvP. Which is often... Often it's 
done in bad faith by people who are just trying to scam easy kills off people. Uh, I personally am allergic to PvP and hate it, so I, unless I'm in like nuclear winter mode, which is a pretty fun game mode, even for someone who hates PvP, uh, then I don't want to mess with it. I don't, I don't want to mess with other people in my game here. Uh, I, I just really don't, and I don't want them messing with me. Simple as that. So we pretty much need to hop over this hill. Uh, we will go get this map marker at the bottom of the screen. The compass that shows which way I'm pointing also has markers to indicate what is coming up, and this indicates that there's a military base or something like that coming up ahead. The 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 symbols aren't necessarily uh, easy to parse unless you already know what they mean, but at least tells you there's a thing up ahead. It's a location that you might want to explore and do stuff at. In this case, it is in fact a military training base, Camp McClintock. And you can see I just got a miscellaneous quest to start my training here. And I got Overseer's mission. Follow the Overseer's journey. Okay. Well, I thought I was already doing that, but you know, it's fine. I was I, I wasn't sure. I'm kind of surprised nobody ha has set up shop here. Maybe they have. No, you're, you're pointing at that robot. That that's fair. I think yeah, it's pointing at the robots. Overseers log. Camp McClintock. <sighs> Maybe I'm going crazy. But it was nice to put on the uniform and play pretend with a bunch of robot drill sergeants. I actually think I learned a thing or two about marksmanship. Hmm. I wonder, right. but, now uh... that I'm in the army, is my official title Overseer Private or Private Overseer? <laughs> oh, time to see if I can fool a few automated identification systems. Yeah. We don't need to be here for a while. Uh, I think I've recorded going through this anyway. So I'm actually just gonna get rid of that. Uh, following the Overseer's Journey is just something we're gonna do as a natural part of moving through the world. Eh, it's a blood bug. It was a blood bug. Now it's dead. Is there just one of them? It would seem there's just one of them. Alright, so, across the way over there is the town of Summersville. In, uh, before Wastelanders came out, it's just kind of a place where super mutants spawn, and where there's a weird miscellaneous quest to turn on all the jukeboxes, which... There were, there were honestly a couple of miscellaneous quests like that over the course of the base game that... Heard an explosion. A couple of miscellaneous quests like that where it's just sort of like, I don't know why I'm doing this? Uh, other than that the game is telling me to. And I don't really feel like those are the best miscellaneous quests, but oh. A thumbs down. Oh, those folks are fighting over a workshop. Boop. I want those those glowy bottles. They're they're just bottles filled with glowing radioactive fluid and I want them. Like they, they were a prop most frequently seen in uh, in Fallout 4 in the context of uh, the Children of Adam, particularly in the Far Harbor DLC. And I don't even remember if you could build with them then, but boy, I would I would like to. They're nice. Yeah, there's someone who has a workshop. They may be defending it against a person, and I'm just going to leave them to it. I have no business there. Okay, so we're coming up on Huntersville here. I bet it's still full of super mutants, to be honest. And that's a person's camp. Hmm. There's the... I feel like the crane treasure hunting sign is going to be the universal symbol for I started the game recently. Camp is this? Stumpy scientist. The, uh, one of the people fighting over the workshop. That that's cool. That's fine. There's ghouls over there. Don't want to mess with that. This over here is 
uh, I think it's Lake Gad. I think that might be what it is technically named. But it's a lake that got drained because it was held together by a dam here at Charleston, and the dam got exploded by raiders. Raiders are dicks. Never forget that. What do we have? There's lights on. Well, there's trash can fires anyway. Hello? Something or someone is taking out the blood eagles here. Which is... F oh, it's that level 400 person. Cool. <laughs> We're gonna just uh, accept that help gladly, and... Uh, we're going to find the jukeboxes here and bring the music back. So, I guess it's not Super Mutants anymore, it's Blood Eagles. Blood Eagles are the new hotness. Super Mutants are broke. Blood Eagles are, well, they're not really woke. Uh, some of these pans, I think, will scrap it into some copper, which we do need in order to build, for one, a Tinker's Bench, which we will need to make more ammo. Uh, because one thing that we are definitely a little low on right now is shotgun ammo, and I would like more of it, because I think Jeff might end up being a shotgun specialist. There's another jukebox. These, these little miscellaneous quests just give XP and uh, some caps, if I remember correctly. Where'd that guy go? Weird. I heard feet. Oh, there he is. Yeah, Johnny Mo. Thank you, Johnny Mo. More like Johnny Bro. Alright, do the thing. Yeah, 50 caps. Bunch of XP. Good times. Now, uh, what we were doing. Oh, here's a bunch of stuff from the elections that were set to take place right before, or right when the bombs dropped. The big issue was, yeah, the Appalachia Prosperity Act, which was set to automate basically everything that the government does in Appalachia, which was unpopular for a lot of reasons, because it didn't really have a plan for what the people displaced by the automation would do. Uh, this is a common problem in discussions with autom about automation. You really gotta have a plan for what comes next. Can I get in there? Eh, yeah, this doesn't obstruct the door at all. Nice. Duncan and Duncan Robotics. I wonder if we're gonna fight robots in here. Probably. Oh. I s the okay, that's moving? I don't like that that's moving. Here's the card that we got. Okay. You take that. I can't take this feather duster. That's weird. I'm gonna take that stuff. Yeah, robot. I'm just picking locks, you know. Maybe not the best plan. Oh no. These are laser trip wires. Okay. Nothing good can come of that. We're gonna scoot on over to here, talk to this guy. Oh. Well now, what do we have here? Are you another ghost? A ghost? I cannot bring you the peace you require, spirit. Leave me be. Huh. So I thought. No need to put on airs with me. I understand your plight, spirit. My name's Skinner, and I am trapped in here, much like you are trapped in undeath. Now, what do you require to leave me alone? This is interesting. I want to know what... Oh, well. Huh. Hmm. My duty is my cell, spirit. 
trapped behind this counter until I finally fade from this world. Someday, but I digress. What can I do? Interesting. So this guy's just kind of trapped in here. This is someone who got uh, their consciousness uploaded into a robot or something before the war, I bet. Anyway, this spirit requires a host. Well, spirit. Unfortunately, Assaultrons are military-grade hardware. Of course they are. As such, all of our machines have already been spoken for. Outstanding deal with the United States military just waiting for pickup. You understand. Oh, no. <laughs> Dare you? I'm the ghost of Duncan himself. You will give me this robot? Yep. You? You're a Duncan? I perhaps see some distant resemblance, Spirit. But, Mr. Duncan, why, they'd tan my hide if I gave away an Assaultron. Here, you may take the Protectron. You can find it in the adjacent room. It was slated for one of the lesser clans in the region. The Garahans, or some such. Mr. Duncan, I'm sure, would... Okay, some gas from the child has been averted. Yeah, so buddy, about bottle caps, uh, they're way more valuable. Ten million to one. Is that so? Mr. Duncan are so very risk averse. Uh, fine, here, you may collect it upstairs. <laughs> Fool. Interesting. Okay. By all means. We're gonna have to... Are we gonna have to fight it? I wanna have to fight it. I like these, uh... These robot bits, though. Okay, that's the Protectron showroom. Pardon me. I would ask you to keep your hands off the merchandise. That's fine. That's a door we can't pick. We instead want... Wait, that's the Mr. Handy showroom. Okay, we don't want that. But we'll take that telephone. Okay, those are Mr. Handy attachments. Yeah, the telephone, I think, has copper and circuitry, both of which we need. Microscope, good. Screws and crystal. Okay, not sure exactly what cricket was... Uh, angry about, but read between the lines, James. I changed the code to the Assaultron showroom. James, eight, you have to make your sale some other way. Eight, I've already given you the code. Eight, you don't need me. Eight, but as you've shown, traipsing around with those goons. Eight, you never have eight. Read between the lines, James. James, I have. I changed the code to the assault. Is the code eight, 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 eight? Did you change the code to be 888-888? Well, that was easy. Disease cure, useful. Why is a mega sloth pelt here? I have a lot of questions. Okay, so that's what we want. Oh, that... Assaultrons scare the shit out of me, because they are just nasty. What is the point of this? I don't know what the point of this is. Okay, so I could just attach it to any old robot, but... Ooh, well, we're not opening that. Instead... Eh... Uh, Yeah, let's do it. Instance progress checkpointed. Good stuff. Okay. Is, uh... Oh, that's it. Okay. I am taking this junk, though. Oh! Sentry bot model. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of take the stuff that isn't nailed down here. Ooh. 
found upstairs. I'm over encumbered now. That's not great. Why am I over encumbered? Something just fell off of me or something. Oh, I ate a ribeye steak and that boosts. Apologies, Mr. Duncan. I've given a strong dressing down to the men involved in the altercation. I'm terribly sorry about them attempting to serve you. The summons meant for your twin and duly hope you can understand the mix-up. Unfortunately, the other Mr. Duncan continues to elude us. You sure is not re residing at a different address? Can you at least confirm I have this correct? 888888 Watch Key Street. Also seems he's been avoiding a mutual place of business since the lockout. Um, hmm. Be willing to don a small item by which they can differentiate you two. Appreciate your patience. It's our sincere hope to have your brother found and access restored to your showroom in no time. Interesting. Was this? Oh, you've truly done it this time, Jonathan. This numeric obsession of yours will be our ruin. You've reminded me multiple times it's the only house in the city with that number. But leveraging our only... You what? Oh, don't be a... Fine. Skinner! Yes, Mr. Duncan. Oh, my brother refuses to continue our discussion without his evening tea. Because he is a petulant child. Do fetch him some so we can be done with this. Mr. Duncan, I hardly mean to be rude, but where exactly would you like me oh, to no. bring this tea? To my brother, you imbecile. Your brother? At the cemetery? Oh, no. What on earth are you talking about? Go downstairs, make his tea, and bring it to the desk directly in front of you where he is seated. Uh, sir, there's... No one there. Oh no. Well, uh, you you don't see him? Oh no, sir. Well, that's why Skinner that's thinks I'm another do. ghost. Skinner, fetch my toolkit. You're clearly malfunctioning. Uh oh. Very well. Uh, sir. That's bad. That's that's not great. Spirit. Are we to be your new haunt? Delightful. Oh, good. Is there anything good in here? Yeah. We can pick this. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. This is the other side of that door, I think. Very useful scrap in here, also a key. Uh, okay, I see how this would go. It'd be like sneaking through and uh, picking up the various keys from various places before. But I was just able to lie my way through it. Because Jeff is a charismatic person. Who steals telephones. All right, well, uh, I think that's about all we need to do here. So let's go outside, uh, possibly p plop down a survival tent so we can scrap this junk. I would like to save the the robot models, but unfortunately there is a, uh, normally the only way to do that would be to put them into a display case so they won't be, so they won't be automatically scrapped when I go to make stuff. But due to people being assholes and duping items, uh, Bethesda currently has all display cases and player vendors disabled because we can't have nice things. Nope, can't have nice things at all. But it's okay. We can make do. Maybe we can make do. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. All right. Uh, the stuff that we didn't want to lose. I want to say that capacitor is useful later. Eh, we'll see. All right, the Protectron model, Sentry Bot model. Those are neat. And the untarnished metal bucket. Ah, okay. 
Lost my place in the scroll. Alright. That's it. And then scrap all of that. Oh. Oh, we unlocked the sentry bot helmet. Oh god. No thanks. No thanks, guy. Oh, I keep thinking I have marsupial, the mutation that lets you jump, but I don't. God, the... <laughs> that's a name, that's for sure. There's a wolf horde going on. It's Grafton Day up in the Toxic Valley. That wanted guy is just running around the map a lot. Well, I think it's safe to fast travel back to the Wayward and see what all is going on now. See if we can get a little bit more out of Duchess about this treasure that people keep coming back to. I've seen a lot of people leaving stuff in bags, by the way, word for new players, which is really nice. Uh, I should do some of that when I'm back on my main character. But what do we got? Hey, no need to play hard to get. One. Tell Polly Signal's what you coming found. through loud and clear. That's fair. You know, I don't throw the word hero around a lot. Come over here and let's discuss, huh? Now, I presume you found something that'll work for someone with my natural charm and gravitas? I do wonder what would happen with the other options, but, uh... <laughs> yep, now I think you're gonna like, I like it. To hear. Seriously, thank you for sticking your neck out for me. It's true. You've worked real hard putting things right for us. None of us are going to forget what you've done. But that really just leaves one last topic for us to discuss. Yeah, the treasure. Doesn't it? Crane. Oh. You ready to listen? I'm just warning you, I can't guarantee you're going to be happy with what I'm about to say. Is he dead? He's scorched? Wait. Yes. At least, well... It's better I walk you through the whole thing at once. You ready to hear it? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, then. That's a weird... Follow me. It's a weird quest... Er, oh! So, guess it... I've known where Crane is. I got a bunch of random food. I know where his treasure is. But, oh. Well, there's a problem. He's scorched, isn't he? Well, yeah, honey, you awake? Oh. You want to give him a little nudge? Oh, God, boy, 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 a tea, boy, a tea. Oh, God. That's all he says anymore. Boy, Boy is Jesus, key. Duchess. Over and over. That thing's been up here the whole time? That thing is Crane, Solomon. And what exactly would you have liked me to do with him? Put it out of its misery. Those things are killers, Duchess. Polly and I have the scars to prove it. I don't recall yielding the floor to debate here. Oh, God. You agree with me, don't you? Okay. I think we all need to calm down. <laughs> uh. I... Well, look. I may not have all the information here, but... All I've heard is... Well... No. Once the infection's this far gone... Then so is the person inside. I... I know. Y you're right. I just... I couldn't. Please. Just... Just make it quick. Of course. Unless... 
You want to take care of it? And who knows how long that'll take? We just wait around for this thing to get loose in the hopes that someone out there finds it? No. I'm sorry, but Crane's gone. The only decision to make here is are you doing it or am I? Oh, well. Okay. I'm sorry, Crane. There's really nothing to be done here. Yeah. You two mind if we just take a moment? Of course not, Duchess. <sighs> According to that map, the treasure is in some kind of special cache tucked away inside Golly Mine. Oh, that door! Sealed away behind a keycard locked door. Golly Mine? That's where Polly and I tracked the scorched. Son of a... Does that... Did Crane lure those damn things here when he found the cache? Hard to say. Suppose we don't need to feel so bad anymore. Solomon. Too damn soon. Yeah. Sorry. That's also fair. Now, this cash. I tried to check it out myself, but I didn't get real far. You're already intimately acquainted with Golly, so I suspect you've got the best shot at actually laying hands on whatever's in there. So, here are my terms. I will let you keep said map and access card. No strings attached. As payment for everything you've done for us. But I need your word you'll come back. And buy a drink every now and then. Oh, God, yeah. You're damn right. Well, we could just split the treasure. Seems fine. fine. I'll take it in tips. Okay. Now, is there anything else you want to discuss before heading out? Nah, I'm good. We cool. Uh. No idea, sweetheart. He was only ever here alone. And if he did have kids, well, they're long gone. Rough. I'll be fine. This. This is just the world we got now. A lesson I keep seeming to forget. Lucky for me, I just happen to have access to a variety of mind-altering substances. So, I'll bounce back. But thank you for asking. Well, that's good. Maybe I have great vision. Maybe he wore shirts with too many buttons undone. Maybe you don't need an answer to that question. You got what you needed. What say you let a lady maintain her air of mystery? Say no more, Duchess. I've pried too much already. I'm out. Good luck. Oh, well, this now explains why I had seen I had seen a uh, an image from trailers and stuff about where there was a scorch tied up in with that with that kind of mask on. I guess that was Crane the whole time. Jeez. Gonna eat some food here. Recoup some of our lost uh, food and water. And yeah, I guess now we go to Golly Mine and we go collect some treasure. There's a whole lot of treasure hunting in this new... It's not really a DLC, it's just kind of the game still. But in, in Wastelanders, there's a whole lot of focus on treasure hunting. Don't mind me. Just making sure this place doesn't fall to pieces. Oh, don't worry, man. But yeah. It's a, it's a neat focus. I wish they had a Tinker's Bench, but neither the Wayward nor the Overseer's Camp has a Tinker's There's one at Slocum's Joe! I remember now. Interesting. I think a person must have dropped that there. I saw something running up there. Hmm. Wonder what it was. Ghoul? Ghoul. Ghoul? Ghoul. A lot of ghouls. And then... More ghouls. Ah, raiders. Eh. 
Have fun with that, guys. Ow! Hey! What? You jerk! Oh, you son of a... Come here. You missed. You suck at Molotovs. You know what? That truck's gonna explode. Get out. Is that chest piece better than what I have? Uh, debatable. That's an event that we're not going to do, because we're not high enough level to deal with it! Yeah, that... Yeah, I, I meant to do that, I meant to explode the truck. Yeah, okay. As I remembered. There's the explosion. That is all we had the scrap for. That's not great. But at least we got we got a couple more uh, go rounds with this gun now. Is that a shovel I can take? That is a shovel I can take. Shovels are occasionally useful in this game. Sometimes you need them to. It, weirdly, you don't need them to dig up treasure maps. Uh, you. You do need them for some specific daily quests, and so a very prized possession for a lot of people is a shovel that is legendary and has the reduced weight legendary trait. Only us? No, not only us. Also Jeff. Wait, okay, we should look at that map. We didn't actually look at the map. Uh, entrance 071990. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We found that cage. Yeah. It, entrance deeper. Cool. That's helpful. Boy is key. I wonder if there's anything to be done for Crane. I mean, probably not, because he's scorched, and as far as I'm aware, there is nothing to be done for someone once they have fully turned. <laughs> Dang it. You know what? How am I deal with you right now? Go away. We have 18 stim packs. That's pretty nice. That is a nice pile of healing we got going for us. But okay, back into Golly Mine. This place was just. It was nothing when the game launched. It was a place where you would get a miscellaneous objective, go and mine coal, and I don't even think, like, it's not like the coal was used. It, coal isn't really used for much of anything in the game, to my recollection. Oh, mole rats. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff here. Okay, wait, I'm using my, sho I'm using my shotgun shells, and I shouldn't be. I just used shotgun shells on mole rats. Okay. Hello. Mole rats are not worth the shells. I can just smack them and be done with it. But I think I remember the room that the map showed. Hello. Ah, son of a... I hate them. Because they frickin' burrow and effectively teleport. Okay, we got it. Okay, so it's through that wall. Right. It's a dead end right there. We have 18 shotgun shells. It ain't much, but it's something. And it ought to help if we run into anything... Anything that isn't a mole rat. 
son of a... You see what I mean? They cheat. They teleport. Oh, you jerk. Is it this way? Yeah, this way was a dead end, right? Yeah. Not much here except a mining helmet. Which we could take because we could eventually slap a modifier on it to give it a better headlamp. But we're gonna not do that right now. More dead scorched. Is it now just full of mole rats? Is that what we're dealing with now? No, there's a guy. Oh my god. Embarrassing, Jeff. Another shovel. Uh, oh, some plants. I thought we did this. Zero seven one nine nine zero. Would help if I could read. Yeah, yeah, because we found it on the frickin' wall over there. Go, I guess. Robco Auto Cash. That seems bad. Robco was, as the name might suggest, a robotics company. So we might be fighting some robots in here. Fine. Goofy picture time. Yep. Cool. How am I doing on weight? Oh, okay. I feel like we're off the beaten path here. That's fine. Frickin'. Okay. God, you're ugly. Frick. A lot of. Okay, so mole rats ate some fools. Got it. Nothing terribly surprising there. I feel like we just took a very roundabout way over to here. Oh, that's where we need to go. Okay. There is a cash control room key. I'm still picking stuff up. I shouldn't be picking stuff up. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, this comes back to where we started. All right. Is 
system registration terminal. Don't mind if I do with my zero or with my one intelligence. I think I have calmed Cricket. He had a little bit of a tantrum because he farted and he scared himself because he's an infant and he's not used to farting. So let's uh, break down some of the text we saw here. Uh, he, he's calm and happy now, don't worry. So in this tour guide walkthrough between George and Kay, whoever they are, uh, House moved up the timetable for stuff and the important thing here that I think is interesting is that House wants the resources for something personal, and there are numerous personal projects that could have been. For one, he actually, Robert House, owner of Robco Industries, actually put himself in sort of, not quite suspended animation, but kind of in suspended animation. He's, he's In Fallout New Vegas, you get to meet the guy, and he's still alive after 200 years, 200 years because he's put himself on like a crazy life support machine, and he kind of looks like a uh, desiccated ghoul when you actually get to see him. Um, he also had a, uh, a bunch of automated uh, buildings and casinos in the Vegas Strip, which is where his, he's headquartered, as you might guess from him being in Fallout New Vegas. Um, and he had a, a missile defense system that kept Vegas from getting hit super hard in the Great War. And so that could have been one of the personal projects. But it looks like we need to find some sparkle under the desk, now that we've registered our Pip-Boy. Sparkle under... The, oh. Mentats. Ah, well. Finally, something to boost our charisma. Several quests too late. Oh, oh, hey. Okay. No. Okay. Register your Pip-Boy at the terminal, stand inside the auto-cache scanner's detection radius, and then raise your registered Pip-Boy towards the auto-cache scanner. Got it. Man, having an infant is a trip. What is in this door? Ah, okay. There's more territory over here. Oh, that's the way out. Right, we can't go in there yet because we haven't been through the thing yet. All right, so stand inside the radius. Ant. Come back. All right, fixed. <sighs> There's turrets up there. We've registered our pit boys, so we should be fine. Hi. Valid pit boy detected. Access granted. Welcome, prospective Robco customer. Oh lord. Okay. All right. Reference on the mid. Add luxury here. Needs to catch the eye as soon as they walk in. Yep, okay. Some money. Some ammo and some tomahawks. Steel scrap. Now I'm encumbered. I do still have ribeye steak. Excellent! Now I'm not encumbered. Okay, so this whole thing was basically to demo a security vault made by Robco. And the two people in charge of it... Yeah, there we go. Let's drink that straight off the shelf, like a winner. Waste handling! Neat. Looking for more of those flyers. Want to know more about this tour. Is that radioactive? It's not radioactive. It just looks radioactive. Robco, at your service. There's paper. 
Imagine your memory is here. The insert final name. Huh. Accessible anytime you need. Back without the need for unscrupulous human guards. Coming eventually. Economic security. Cool. What is this? Frickin'. Ants. I feel like up here we're just gonna find... Well, here's a bunch of pre-war money that... Unfortunately, in Fallout 76, is really only good to scrap into cloth. Reliable HVAC. Okay. That is a selling point. Cool, so there's the way out. I'm just picking up all this because it's useful scrap for later. Order yours today. Like what you see, da 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 da. Order your folly, it, they never named it. They never named it. It's kind of a bummer that they never finished naming it. All right, so if everything goes Frickin' If everything goes terribly wrong, then we're encumbered again. Damn it! What? Am I carrying something that's really heavy here? Oh, a fusion core. Oh god, a fusion core with nothing in it. Now I'm picking up more stuff. Uh, frick. It was a pound of arrows. Oh, right. Shovels are really heavy. We only need one shovel. Personal security! Add weapons here. George. Protester scarers. Oh, lord. Yeah, Robco wasn't exactly on the right side of history with any of this. Treasury bonds. I like your investment safe and secure. Da -da 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 -da. Order yours. That seems wrong. Treasury bonds are a currency that... Huh. Yeah, they're a currency that gets used in some endgame stuff, I seem to recall, but that's definitely wrong. Like, that, that's definitely not what it is. This is just a piece of paper that has been mislabeled or something. Robco stock shares. It should be company stock, a million dollars, the crown jewels. Uh, neat. Okay. Alright. Into the cash. Oh. Okay. Okay, this is probably where they give the final presentation. Got it. Not seeing turrets or anything. I'm skeptical of that. Mega Dispenser Test Token. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we get to we get to roll something random here. Neat. Obviously, we're gonna go with the shotgun because Jeff has been enjoying shotguns. Let's do it! That's pretty nice. That's a nice low-level shotgun. I'll take that. Yeah, that's nice. It's got faster fire rate. Suppressors, so things that it hits will deal less damage to me. I like it. That's a solid weapon. That glue. That glue will be useful. So that's so that. All right, let's get the hell out of here. All right, 
good. We don't have to fight our way back out now, do we? That would suck. Which way did I come in? Oh, that's annoying. That's definitely not it. That's the way... No, wait. This is the way out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back to the tunnels. Okay. Okay, we're back. I might have just edited out some incidental background noise. Let's talk to Duchess and get our reward. Why am I in caution? That was weird. Should not have been in caution. I don't think there should be anything around here that's hostile. Alright. Hey! Oh, you guys got the lights on! Well, that's what those noises were when I loaded in. The intrepid explorer returns. Extra layer of dust makes me think you might have actually succeeded. Time to spill. What'd you find? Heh. <laughs> uh. Well, glad you got something useful out of the equation. You deserve it. And more, honestly. In fact, what I will do is foot you a discount. You'll never pay full price here while I'm still above the ground. Really, it's about the least I could do at this point. Oh, and I nearly forgot. Once we got the power back on, we started picking up this broadcast. Some woman claiming to be an overseer. Of one vault 76. I thought it might your interest. I can't tell you if she is who she claims she is, but I figured if anyone could sort it out, well, it was going to be you. Well Honestly, then. Honestly, thank you. We're on our feet now because of you. You take care of yourself out there, honey. One wayward soul to another. <sighs> hey. Oh, and that gave us 50 legendary script. Currency for buying legendary weapons from an NPC called the Purveyor. And we got the plan for a bow. Oh, I bought that on another character from somewhere. Hmm. Great. Now I feel silly. Yoink. Ah, well this is nice. Ah, uh, that's from a Scorch Beast Queen fight that took place entirely in a nuke zone. We generally, generally prefer it if they don't, because if they're in a nuke zone, we all have to get into power armor or hazmat suits, and it's annoying. Uh, look for the robot that thinks it's a cow. I love it. Okay, there we go. That frees up quite a bit of weight. Yeah. So we've got a couple quests now. Uh, listen to the Overseer's broadcast and visit the Purveyor to spend your legendary script. The Purveyor used to live way out here in the mire at Berkeley Springs Station, but now she's moved to the Rusty Pick in the Ash Heap. We are going to turn that off, though, because that's a far that's a far hop from here. Uh, what we are going to do, though, is listen to the Overseer's broadcast. Broadcasting to the people of Vault 76. This is the Overseer. We need to talk face to face. I've missed all of you, but this isn't just about a reunion. We have work to do. I'll be waiting in Sutton. All right, like I said, we gotta go to Sutton. And we've already been there, so let's just hop over the hill. 
a big thing about experiencing this new content is that I don't want to fast travel everywhere. Like on a high level character, I could just hop around the map because I've been everywhere. But I want to walk around it more because they did such a good job with this place, with all of Appalachia, and I, I don't want to shortchange myself of any, of any of the content, any of the sites, any of the random stuff that can happen around here. But hey, here is the Overseer's house. And it's not as big of an emotional payoff for Jeff here, because he just got out of the vault, but for all of our characters who have been farting around the wasteland for the better part of a year in real life, it's really something to finally get to see her face to face. Yeah. Uh, this was the previous incarnation of Jeff out at the pumpkin house in the mire. Hi! Hello? Overseer? Oh, thank God you're here. I almost... It's just so good to see you. Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as this place is, there's... someone I'd like you to meet. Okay. We really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around. I mean, it looks pretty nice. Got a nice bathroom. I'm not taking anything from the Overseer, that would just be wrong. Got a nice basement here, Overseer. Ooh, a Tinker's Bench. I need to build one of those in my camp. Let me introduce you to Davenport. He's been helping me with some reconnaissance. Hey, Davenport. Keeping an eye on Appalachia. Oh, so good to meet you. The Overseer has been so excited to see everyone again. Once you've acquainted yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. I couldn't have pulled this place off without him. Let's talk. Okay. Oh, I know you have the questions, and we'll get to them. I have an important mission. Okay. But you're just not ready. It's too dangerous. I can't in good conscience send you on it. Oh? Before you do anything, you need to get inoculated against oh, get the level 20. disease. Oh, get to level 20. You've seen what it yeah. does to people. Dr. Hudson was working on a cure. Her research lab was in uh, the Morgantown airport. And this points airport. us back to Morgantown. That get you started. Back to the old main quest. All right. Is there anything else That's you cool. want to talk about? Ah, uh, yes, an ounce of prevention. Um, where you been? Pretty hypocritical for me, of all people, to take off on my own, huh? Oh. <laughs> At first, I was just racing ahead, hoping that if there was any trouble, I'd hit it first. And then there were the nukes, the scorched plague. Seeing my old neighborhood bombed to pieces. I, I needed time. That's fair. Yeah. Me too. That's fair. All right. Uh. I'm working on understanding Dr. Hudson's research better. A and I hope someday soon a simple inoculation can be developed. But I'm not there yet. Her lab, however, can synthesize a specific vaccine for you. If it hasn't broken down again. It has. It definitely has. Uh, is there any advice for me? You just what? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> what were you doing in Vault 76 all these months? Oh. All uh. right. Everyone was supposed to leave at Reclamation Day. <laughs> My advice? Start pulling your weight and catch up. This is and maybe invest in an alarm clock. Uh, that is obviously not a dialogue option for a character that wasn't created after Wastelanders. Oh, that's great. Okay. All right. So now, now we've caught up with the overseer. Great. Uh, we need to go and haul our ass up to Morgantown Airport and do the old responder quest line a little bit which will take us up to Morgantown in the airport, and then all the way back down 
to outside Charleston at the AVR Medical Building. And there's events down here. <laughs> okay, but we're not going to mess with that. Uh, that is, in fact, going to do it for this video. I have some editing to do because somebody has been a bit fussy and farting. And it's not me, it's Cricket.